Hi guys, Rich from Art of Smart. A um, little bit later than three o'clock. Um, but we are up here at our York project. So those of you that have followed us on the socials for a while um, will obviously recognise this one. We've shown you this one loads and loads of times. But we've had loads of new followers recently. Uh, and it's part of something we're doing with our online training academy. Thought we'd come back here and show you around. I've got Art Smart Media actually with me, filming me do a live. Um, but anyway, let's take you into the house and let's have a look around this house. Take you through some of the technology. This is a great one. Uh, and this project actually is um, our York show home. So we've got an incredible relationship with the client. I'm gonna say incredible. Um, we actually did this job for them. Um, and the two clients actually become, end up becoming um, two of my best pals. So it worked out very nice. Not only done a job, got a beautiful show home, beautiful house, ended up getting two very good pals out of it. So just dropped onto the Wi Fi. So I'm going to take a look through this house. And probably the very first thing I'm going to show you, let me spin this camera around. Let me spin it around. So I'm going to spin the camera around. There we go. So the reason I've spun the camera around is because. It is very, very, very sunny in here. So, uh, I can come through to the light switch that we've got here, which obviously is a lighting keypad. And we've got a few options. Obviously, it's really, really nice weather today. We've got that big window up there. And that window, actually, is tied into the control for system. So, if I was to press the window button on there, what's going to happen is that window up there is going to start to open. And then, we obviously can control the blinds through these buttons here. So if I wanted to shut the blinds behind me here, press the blind buttons, that's gonna send the blinds down there. But I'm not gonna do that actually. I send those back up. We have lighting controls on here. So I could turn the lighting on in the full space, including this absolutely mega LED strip detail that goes right the way down the full hallway. 20 meters is that LED strip there right the way through the full project. And uh, what else we got going on? So here, obviously this space here, you don't really wanna ruin the aesthetics of a beautiful house like this with AV, technology, all the rest of it. Uh, so featured in this project, we've got the Amina plastering speakers. So there is actually a full Dolby Atmos set up in the ceiling. We've got a projector here housed in the ceiling and there is also a screen. So lots of different ways we can control that. But the first way I'm going to show you, because obviously I turned the blinds on before and then I stopped. And the reason is, obviously there's lots of glass there. If we wanted to put a cinema room on, we don't want to have lots of light in here. I've got all the lights on. So coming through to this touchscreen here, which is kind of the central controller of the house. If I come from to here, we've got cinema room. and We've got some favourites here. We've got the Xbox. We've got the Apple TV here. So, coming through here, if I press the Apple TV button on the touchscreen, what that's actually going to do, it's now on Apple TV, but we're not going to control the Apple TV through there. So that, automatically, with the automation behind that action, is putting the blinds down. It's dropped the automated projector lift out the ceiling. We've dropped the screen down. All the lights are actually fading off over 30 seconds. It's just giving me enough time to come over here I mean, we turned it on with a touchscreen, but realistically, that's not how we're going to use it. We're going to use this Neo remote control here. So there we go. All the lights have faded off. The projector is just turning on. All the blinds have dropped down here. And I can get remote control, which already knows that I'm on Apple TV. So if we just wait for the projector to fire up here, I'm going to get myself sat down and comfy while the lamp warms up. So a couple of other little features I'll talk you through on here while waiting for that one, there it is. So we can actually control on the Neo remote control directly through here. We could fire over to the Xbox. This has, can you see there and there, they are actually two in-wall subs. So they're subwoofers in the wall, along with the plastic speakers, which there's three there. I've got my Atmos channels there and there, and then my rears are over there. So I've got those, and the client's really into the base, obviously, for putting these, these subs in. So we've got on here, base control, to control, do you want it in cinema mode? Do you want it in normal mode? Do you want more base? Do you want less base? And I mean, this is kind of level of 
control and things that we can adjust from here. So say lighting, night chill. I'm going to put that on. That's going to do the lights through there. I could, of course, control lights individually. So the fire up lights there. Dim them down a bit. Now let's turn them off. I want to turn the LED in the cinema off. And we've got this on here. So on the near remote control, we'll come through. Is it even an AOS demo if we don't demo this track? Let's see if it's on there. So, let's come through top films. I'm just going to put something on to show this here. So, if we go... A bit of on. GH Electrical Mind Mate Guy. AOS partner there. Based on Sunny Bournemouth. He has indeed been here and experienced this. So, we can fire this on here. So we have the volume control on the Neo. Them subs are just kicked in. We need calm. The world needs it. The storm was coming. And there's a child. She's the only one who can do So as well as turning on, when I was to turn this room off, Turn it off. So that's going to put the screen back into the ceiling automatically. It's going to bring us some lights on. It's just put that projector lift all away and it's automatically opening the blinds because it still knows that we're during the day. So I can put that back on there. Coming through this way now, the money shot, the money shot. Let's give him the money shot, Rob. Just while I pause a second here, yeah? Take a minute and appreciate that view. Absolute. This here changes all year round, obviously because it's a field and fields change. Um, and again, they've got the beautiful view over there. But you can see these two panels I've just taken off here. Well, basically behind here, we have all our central stuff. So this is where the rack is. Get out there, they've got the lake down there. They've got a forest down there. Beautiful, it's beautiful. Um, so this is all the cabling from the house coming in here. And it all comes through into our termination box. So you can see there, we've got everything in, everything's labeled, that's connected. Got the Neo box in there, some blind controllers and Wi-Fi. And then coming through here, we've got all of the AV rack and this will pull out for maintenance, but it's got everything on there. All the amps, the CCTV, the Xbox, Apple TV, network switches, and obviously Control 4. So all them bits and pieces are there. Um, we also have HDMI wire in here if client wanted to connect his laptop to the uh, to the cinema. But on top of that, you can obviously do an airplay. So coming further on down through the space, we've got all the bits and pieces through here. Obviously, kitchen, all the light fittings are plastered in. Motion sensors for the lighting. Um, in fact, let me just close them blinds again so we can try and show a bit of lighting. Um, coming down through here. Obviously, we don't do it so much anymore, but we have the electrics with the boiler and the fuse board. All the breakers. Split load. We did, I mean, we did this house a couple of years ago now. We've actually have in this cupboard as well, hidden away. This is where we've got the lighting panel. So we have the lighting panel in there. So this is where all the lights in the house are wired back to, as well as the Zigbee. And then for the drivers, we have all the drivers controlling all the LED tape are there. And then another sub board here, just doing um, um, the lighting control panel. Coming back through here. Obviously the touch screen, I'll come back through that a little bit more in a second. But in here, we've got our cupboard with a bit more plant and stuff in here. So the way this house was, we had to put stuff in different cupboards. But what it means is we've got in the full space is really clean aesthetic. So nothing's on display. Heating thermostats, that's up there. And then the actual controls themselves whoop, are down there. So that's where the thermostats will live. But in terms of the heating, if I come through to the touch screen, We've got in the kitchen cinema room there, but if I went through into the comfort menu, I have control of all the thermostats in the house there. The office, bathroom, hallway, master bedroom, kitchen. They even got irrigation program. What the irrigation program is, is for this winter garden. 
If I turn that on, that's watering that for one minute. And this winter garden here, you see the pipes? The irrigation is all controlled. So this kind of special winter garden um, only wants to be on for a couple of minutes a day. Uh, it wants to be watered lots of times throughout the day. Fleet. Media van, electric van, client's car. So we have this here. Bathroom again. Through the lighting control keypad, we've got an all on, we've got a chill, we've got window control, and we've got an all off. So again, can't really get um, lighting control when it's as sunny as it is today. It's an actual change in the UK that we've actually got some nice weather. Doesn't really happen very often. We've got a few different things, rubber bath. First time for everything. We've got the lovely black walls, micro cement features, LED details, lights in here all plastered in spots, a couple of niche spots, and yeah, very, very, very nice bathroom. So just talk you through a few more things on this touchscreen, really. Come on and see, obviously we had the um, comfort on there for the heating. We have all the cameras. We've got Spotify in here. <laughs> Clients personalised his OS3 there. we got wake and sleep in the bedroom, the bedroom blinds, hallway, the gate. Little feature we've got in here, the house control there. So welcome home. We have night chill, all off, all off bedtime, all off and all on every night, uh, every light. So say if we've got the cleaner here, all on every light, bang, basically puts every light in the house onto 100%. You know, but we don't want that. We'll go put it back down into night chill mode, which is gonna fade it down. Again, preset everything. We've got control on the shades. Now the shades actually, um, uh, what have we got here? We've got, obviously the heating thermostats in this space and the blinds, but obviously when they reach above 25 degrees, we have a, a thing in here called solar shading. And what that's gonna do is during the day, if the heating thermostats read that it's got above that temperature, the heating is automatically, um, the heating thermostats are going to read that. And if the space gets above 25 degrees, it's going to put the blinds down in the space and do a bit of solar shading. But you might not want that. You know, you might want them open during the day. You might want it like an absolute greenhouse. So you can disable this feature through the touchscreen. And then the blinds, if I say I wanted them all 25% open, these blinds are all going to open up now. And because it knows where 25% is, 25% open, they've all opened up to that limit. Now, these blinds are actually really, really cool the way that he's done it. And the house looks like it's floating because you've got this void down here. Then also we've got a void up the top there. So if I was to take the blinds to 100% open, go there, let's go 100% open. And they're going to come up and disappear back into there. I'll show you that in a second. So coming through here, obviously using lighting scenes to control the lights, but we can come into the light section here, control the lights independently. This room is the gate, the gate area. So we've got control of the gate. And then we have a cool feature on here called gate light identify. And basically what that does is when you do that, don't laugh. Yeah. Because it's a very, very real world feature and it's on one of our YouTube videos if you can bother to go look. What the gate identifier will do, this house is in the middle of nowhere, right? And you would struggle to find it. So imagine you've got a delivery. Oh, let's be realistic. Yeah, you're going to get a takeaway. Takeaway driver can't find your house. So what the gate identifier does is we have a couple of lights on the gate and we've programmed them to flash. In fact, I should be able to show you through the touch screen. If I go gate light identify and then come into the lighting section, we should see the light there, the gate light, on, off, on, off, on, off. And what that's doing, obviously the gate, is that's flashing lights up there and that'll keep doing that for a minute. Um, and then obviously the takeaway driver can find your house because you can just say, oh yeah, my house is just the one with flashing lights outside. PS, bring me my karma here very fast. So you get your takeaway. Um, questions on here what's the pir control in the ceiling so dual purpose 
dual purpose PIRs. So we have the PIR there, which is actually a 360 degree PIR, and it's connected into the alarm system. So that's why on this particular project, we've not used a Faraday, because that's an alarm sensor. That's an alarm sensor. But because we're doing the alarm sensors there, we're using them dual purpose, the controlling lights as well. So say when I open the cupboard, the light turns on because we put PIRs in the cupboard as well. So there's no door sensor on this one. So this light will be off on here now. But if I open up the door, that sensor up there has picked me up. And we've got that in all of the cupboards. And that's controlled through the Texcom alarm system. So if I come back on here and we go through onto the security tab. On security, we've got an option, we've got the cameras. So we can go through and see all the cameras there. Got the gates, the stores. Around here, from right. Got the vans outside. We can swipe back there. Come back into the security option. Come on, come on, Steve. You know me. I don't even eat Indian. I was trying to, I was trying to keep it real. Uh, coming through into locks and sensors. So we've actually got all the sensors here. So it knows the state of everything within the house on here. All the alarm sensors. And again, we can. We're using the alarm system, Texacom, which is integrated. Let's cancel that off. Uh, and then if I come into our zones page, I can see the kitchens closed, cinemas closed, masters closed. Plant room's closed. And we basically have the state of all of those through there. So that's how that's working. So it's Texcom alarm system, which is there. There's the panel for backup and the actual main panel's up there. And then we have control of that through here. And um, what else have we got in here? The intercom. So we've got the video intercom, which goes up to the gate. Again, this will ring through to mobile phones. And we've got options there to open the gate. So when I press open gate, you're gonna hear a beep. And that has opened up at the gate end and opened up for the car. Coming through, what else we got? We've got the shares gate. Let's come back into the service page. Look at that, that's a nice little picture of the rack. Obviously because everything is hidden behind the wall over there where the rack is, what we've got here is a reset page. So we can reset certain elements. So say if Control 4 was throwing a wobbler or the Apple TV was throwing a wobbler, I could press the icon there, which is gonna reset that. We also have those options through a custom button as well. So we can reset devices there. And then finally, in case the cinema or screen was ever throwing a wobbler, we've got kind of like overrides for all the screen stuff. So say if I wanted to put the projector down, that would literally just bring the projector down out the ceiling. So see if you're doing maintenance or you know, you wanted to work on that or it got out of sync with the programming, which I mean, doesn't really happen, but if it did, We've got that through there, we can put, put, put projector back up. Got a kitchen space. So in here, got a favorite set on OS3. BBC Radio One Extra. Again, if we crank that up a bit. Can't see it, because it's a plastered in speaker just there. Windows open. Could tie this in if I wanted to. Because although we've got the cinema speakers and they're doing all the cinema stuff, if I'm having a party, because obviously got them two big subs down there as well, which absolutely bang. If I wanted to do that, let's go on here. Let's have her in. Cinema. This bangs, this bangs, it bangs. That's gonna turn the AVR and stuff back on now. I wake up and it's just bringing it through. There we go. So them subs have just woke up. Um, so the light isn't actually flickering. Um, somebody said on there, why is the lighting flickering? The lighting isn't actually flickering. Sometimes when you're filming lighting, um, you can kind of get a flicker. Fox 20 joints on. R Ricky was here, that is my demo track, is that? Actually, this client introduced me to that and that absolutely bangs on this system. So that's it, we turn the tunes off. 
And that's it really, I suppose. That's all I'm going to show you on here. Obviously the favourites on there, but we still have access to everything that isn't a favourite through this screen here. And that's that. So, yeah, just thought I'd give our new followers a little look around this house. When I was here yesterday, got quite a lot of messages and I also needed to film a video for our online train academy. So I thought, do you know what? Two birds, one stone, um, and that's it. So, yeah, for those of, that, of you that have seen this house a million and one times, thanks for tuning in. For those of you that haven't seen this house before, um, beautiful, beautiful house based in York um, and a project that we use... <laughs> I'm just growing my hair back out, getting rid of COVID, cut back to the barbers. Um, but yeah, this is our Yorkshire home. Um, so we occasionally bring clients here, but don't really need to with the social stuff we do. But um, if anybody does want to come see this, hit me up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get off, get back to the office because I've got lots to do. I've got six o'clock meeting and a seven o'clock meeting before I go home tonight. Um, so yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend. The weather is absolutely still banging. Beautiful weather, makes this house very hot. But that's why I've got the uh, aircon up there. So yeah, peace out, A-Town. So, as we come through and in this live video,